Hi, I wanted to walk through Canvas. Here is a channel, and if I click on the button run to the right, I see a channel canvas. So this is a canvas that has been associated to this channel. It is a one-to-one -one relationship, and it's a great place to provide information about the channel. I can highlight users. Here I have Paige and Austin, who are team leads on this project. I can also add additional users by at mentioning them. And then if I right click, I can display as card and it'll give me a nice preview. I have meeting topics and open action items. I can even include workflows in this channel canvas. You may have pins and bookmarks. This is a great place to highlight messages as well because you get that preview and you can click on it to jump to the pinned message. You can also include resources, uh, uploading files or links, and all of this is information that's available as it's associated with a channel. Here's another example. If I go into sales, uh, here's an account, and if I paste a Salesforce URL and I have Salesforce installed and I'm authenticated, I get a nice little preview as well. I have a workflow to allow me to join other sales channels or request help. And images also display really nicely to get a qu quick preview. So in addition to canvases that are associated with a channel, I also have another type of channel, a canvas, and these allowed me to share different canvases across channels. So not just one-to-one, -one, but across. Here's a executive briefing, and this is full screen. I can add in tables pull in information. And if I click on the share icon, I can see who has access. In this case, it's multiple channels and the one channel may be able to edit, the other one can view. And I also can have different people who have access. I can set the preferences for the whole company as well, whether or not that's restricted or anybody can view and edit. Let's walk through some other use cases for different types of canvases. So we talked about two different channels, I can also have channel canvases um, associated with each individual DM. So this is actually a DM canvas. So for any individual that I'm DMing, I can click on this button. It's a great way if you want to keep track of your notes with your manager, um, put links in, they unfurl and you can have a, an active Spotify list or a YouTube link. From an engineering standpoint, I can keep track of incidents in a channel and put all that information there to collaborate. If I select different text, I can leave comments and um, at mention different people to have conversations and get their attention and, and confirm details. Here's another example where if I have a checklist, I can have different people mark it and they have a certain set of people who can edit, but the whole channel can view. So if the checklist gets updated, then the preview gets updated as well in um, the canvas. This is great instead of having to rewrite a message over and over again. For newsletters, sometimes you can see these really, really long messages. I took all that information and created a canvas here, and that pulls all the details in a very visual, easy to consume way. I have one for social equality. Um, so here in the channel canvas, I actually link to other canvases. So I can click on that and I see the equality group newsletter, very beautiful. And from an onboarding experience, I can provide a details for what videos to watch, how to keep track. So this could be for individuals or a group of people, different things that you need to do. Employee experience provides all the links so you can jump to SharePoint or Confluence with all those details. You can reach Canvas by going to the More menu and clicking on Canvases. That's where you can launch a brand new one or start from a template. So you can click here and see all the different examples of different canvases.